All right. Let's talk about different types of flashes. There are two main types of flashes, only one of which we really use anymore. But I want to make sure that we're at least aware of the two different types. So there's two types of flashes. The first and older type of flashes are what are called bulb flashes. The newer flashes, which we use today, are called electronic flashes. Or the other term for an electronic flash, please write this in your notes as well, we also refer to them as strobe flashes. Strobe, S-T-R-O-B-E, like a strobe light. So I actually found this at a secondhand store this year. I went and bought it. I just because I can show it to you guys. This is a strobe light, right? Just like a you might have at a club, right? So if you're dancing, right? Or, or more likely this was probably used as someone's like Halloween decoration, right? But this is a strobe light, right? A flash like this is the same thing. It's, it's a strobe light. It, it doesn't use a light bulb. This old camera here had an actual bulb flash. Literally, there was a light bulb that would sit in there. And it was a one-time use. You would point the camera. You'd push the button. It would take a photo. The light bulb would burn really bright. In fact, it would burn so bright that it would burn out after one use. You'd have to take the light bulb out and put a new one in there. Every time you took a photo, you'd have to replace that bulb. So this is an example of a bulb flash. That's right. Little eject. So this is also, again, a bulb flash. It has a filter on the front of it, a blue filter. So you can see that there's the light bulb inside there. right? So you take a picture, you push the little button, pop the bulb out, put a new one in. Every time you took a photo, new bulb. Or this is an example. This doesn't have the bulb in it. This would, you could slide this on top of your camera, you put your flash in there, take your picture. Now, that got to be kind of a pain in the butt, so eventually they came up with these little flash bars. So this has one, two, three, four, five on this side, and five on this side, and then it would attach to the top of your camera. Mm -hmm. Or they had cubes, flash cubes, that would sit on top, and then you'd rotate it each time. <laughs> Those were bulb flashes. Now, we don't use bulb flashes anymore. They're not, they're not, they're not eco-friendly, for one, right? And also, they're expensive, because you have to replace a bulb every single time you take a photo. Whereas this flash, this electronic or strobe flash, I can use this flash thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of times, never having to replace any sort of bulb inside there. Interesting, a little bit of history tidbit. The first flashes were not either of these two types. What was the very first flash in photography? Well, it was it was just gunpowder. The oldest flash, think about it, like the mid-1800s, mid right? You had that photographer that had that big camera sitting on top of that tripod, right? Had the big blanket thing on the back, right? And then they'd get underneath the blanket, and then they would focus the lens, right? And then they'd come back out from under the, the, the blanket after they put the film, and they're ready to take the photo, and then what they do is they hold this, this tray up, and it was a tray, and it had inside there just black gunpowder. And they would ignite that. There's a little igniter. They could ignite the gunpowder, and the powder would just go, the big flame that would produce a lot of light. And that was the very first flash. It was just gunpowder. My great grandma told me something like that. She's like, kids are so lucky happy. When I was your age, I had to take a picture and we smelled like gunpowder. <laughs> and if you're the photographer, maybe you burn your eyebrows off. Exactly. Or... <laughs> All right. Now, <laughs> really quick. I, I, let me go back one slide. Okay. There's two main types of flashes. Of these two types, bulb and electronic, do you ever see crime scene photographers using flash bars like this or, no. or flashes no. like this? No. We don't use bulb flashes anymore, right? What do we use now? Electronic. electronic. Again, they're also called strobe flashes. All right. Now, there are three different varieties of strobe flashes. Very likely test questions. What are the different types of strobe flashes or electronic flashes? Grab this. Ron, would you grab that? That one's on a timer. It's about to turn off for me. Let me grab it. All right. Three types of strobe flashes. The first one is called an automatic flash. Thank you, Rob. An automatic flash. 
It goes by two other synonyms as well, so we need to make sure we list them. So again, I'm still talking about the first type, called an automatic flash. The other two names you may hear referred to by are a dedicated flash. So automatic flashes are sometimes also called dedicated flashes. And then the other term you might hear used to refer to those flashes is an abbreviation, which is TTL. And that abbreviation, I'll tell you what it stands for, it means through the lens, through the lens. But those are all three names for the first type of flash. I'm normally just going to call it an automatic flash. But again, sometimes called dedicated, sometimes called TTL. The second type of flash, second type, is a semi-automatic flash. Semi-automatic flash. There's not really another name for a semi-automatic flash, but it's important to note that it can be operated in two modes. All right, so again, first type of flash is called automatic. Second type of flash is called semi-automatic. Now, a semi-automatic flash can work in two different modes. It can operate in an automatic mode. And it's important to remember, that doesn't make it an automatic flash, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But it can also operate in a manual mode, in a manual mode. So we have first, again, automatic flashes, sometimes called dedicated or TTL flashes. The next type of flash is called a semi-automatic flash. And it can operate in two different modes, either manual mode or automatic mode. And then there's a third type of flash. This is the newer flashes. If you go purchase a flash, likely you're going to buy one of these. And that's this flash that is here. And this is a hybrid flash. Hybrid. Hybrid flash. This one happens to be a Nikon Speedlight. It's a Nikon brand. It's a Speedlight flash. Now, hybrid. When you hear that term hybrid, I think of like the Toyota Prius. That's a hybrid car, right? So, like cars, most cars either run on gasoline, or some of them are like the Tesla, they're electric. But then you have some cars that can do both. And the Prius is an example, right? The Prius is a hybrid because it does have a gas, gasoline engine, but it also has an electric motor. Some of the times it runs on electric, some of the time it runs on gasoline. So because it does both, we call it a hybrid. So if this flash is a hybrid, what do you think that means? Yeah. It can either be an automatic flash, or we can actually have it operated as a semi-automatic flash. So it can be either one of those two things, all right? That's what this is. This is a hybrid flash. So far, so good? Now, the biggest thing to understand about the different types of flashes, it's, it's really all about who controls the flash, all right? Who controls the flash? Because here's the thing about this flash. Let me go ahead and turn it on. I got batteries here. Let me turn this flash on. All right, so I have my flash turned on here. The interesting thing about this flash is when it when it goes off, when I when I fire the flash, the flash doesn't always fire at full intensity. Right? It, it can fire at full intensity. For example, this is full intensity. Right, that's, oh, cool. that's pretty bright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I yeah. bleed. Sorry, I should have warned you. I'm sorry, I should have warned you. Right. But okay, but okay, so that was, that was pretty bright. Right? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire the second time. This time I turned it down. I turned it down. So this time not as bright, right? You guys ready? See that? Oh, yeah, that was that way less intense. Well, right? Okay, I'm gonna go back to full brightness. You guys ready? Full hey, brightness. Hey, I got you. Ready? I got you. You got sunglasses on, okay. You ready? So again, this is full brightness. Again, pretty yeah, bright. Now I'm going to turn it way down. Again, not very bright. Yeah. Right, you guys see that? So the flash, it can be turned way, way, way up, or it can be turned way, way, way down. The, the analogy I like to use is, um, my kids when they were little, they, they were kind of afraid of the dark, to sleep in the dark room. <laughs> so instead of putting a nightlight in the room, what I did is I just installed a dimmer switch on their overhead lights in their room. So when they'd go to sleep, uh, instead of turning the light off, we would just turn the light down. 
Yeah, you guys know what a dimmer switch is, right? Yeah. yeah. Turn it up and down. So I just turned the dimmer switch down so that the room, there was still light, but it was kind of dark. And then when they finally fall asleep, I just go turn it off. Think about a flash, kind of like it has a dimmer switch. I can turn it all the way up, or I can turn it down. Why would I turn it way up, or why would I turn it way down? What, what might affect that decision? Yeah, they're not a lot I need it, right? If I'm in a dark, dark cave where there's no light at all, and I need to, and I need to cover a very large area with light, I'm probably going to turn my flash way, way up. If I'm taking photographs in an environment where it's already kind of bright, but I need to use a little bit of flash, I don't want to turn it all the way up, because if I turn it all the way up, what might happen to my photo? It's going to be way overexposed, right? So I need, it's, this is important to understand, just because you're using flash doesn't mean that we forget about exposure control. It just means that we're using the flash to increase the light. How far up we increase it is largely dependent upon how much we need. So when I talk about the different types of flashes, automatic flashes, semi-automatic flashes, what we're really talking about is who has control of that dimmer switch. A moment ago, when I set this flash off, who had control of the dimmer switch? You. I did. 